In a previous viral video, we talked about how to identify real versus replica when you go to a museum. In brief, one is cradled and one has the hardware running straight through it. So does that mean that a replica is a huge letdown or a waste of time? Absolutely not. Here are the top three reasons why replicas are still critical in science. One, wider public accessibility. Our Triceratops lane is one of the most complete specimens ever discovered, with the most complete feet ever found. So to give the rest of the world the chance to observe and study lane, replicas must be cast, either museum grade or research grade. More on that in a few minutes. Two, scientific value. Our T-Rex Y-Rex also has the most complete feet of any T-Rex, but we have the only authentic Y-Rex specimen in the world, right here in Houston. So if you're a paleontologist in Japan, studying a research-grade replica is a more logistically friendly choice. Plus, dozens of scientists can be studying dozens of the same research-grade replicas at the same time, compounding scientific discovery by orders of magnitude. And three, not only the economical threat of damaging the one and only specimen, but threat to scientific observation and discovery. Our T-Rex and Triceratops just mentioned may have the most complete feat ever discovered, but for the reasons just highlighted, they are not on display or within arm's reach of the public. The risk is simply too great. Those specimens are kept safe and guarded in an undisclosed location, but they aren't completely inaccessible. From time to time, they are carefully observed by universities, scientific institutions, and even, occasionally, the general public. They aren't guarded as part of any wild conspiracy. They are simply too precious to keep laying around. As far as quote-unquote museum and research grade replicas are concerned, the names give it away. A research grade replica can be studied closely. The fine details are meticulously maintained for study. A museum grade replica is great for observation at a distance. You can and will learn a lot by observing them. But fine fissures you can see in a microscope can't be seen from 10 feet away, so they aren't as meticulously included. This also lowers the financial impact and allows more people to have more accessibility to these creatures to inspire curiosity on a global scale, rather than simply being lucky enough to live close to the real specimens like right here at the Houston Museum of Natural Science. Take care.